All right, I'm going to do pop-up reading. Aries through Gemini. Let's start with Aries. Okay, let's see here. Let's see, let's, let's just use this. All right, Aries. Woo, okay, so I feel like you're going through big changes here. Okay, so this is like beginner's mind. That's what I would say this is. And that's interesting. I just did a, a shorts video and it was like, um, be open to the messages. It was there, there was like going to be a message to do something and it was calling for spontaneous action and that was going to bring in the new beginning. Okay, so this is like going into spring. That's the feeling I'm getting here. Ooh, okay, this might be spring to summer. <laughs> okay, now where are you taking that wand? That's what I, I feel like that's you feeling youthful, like born again. Okay, let's see. High Priestess. Okay, so are you going towards another person that might be psychic here? Well, Scorpios are psychic, so maybe there's something in your chart that has like Scorpio. Let's see. Okay, so yeah, you're headed towards victory. Okay, and I feel like you know it. Now I feel like whoever you're going towards, whether you're a man or a woman, I feel like the person you're going towards um, is a confident energy, okay. And maybe that is why, um, woo! okay, so what is that? Okay. Okay. So this is, could be, now this could be a couple of things, not getting enough sleep. Okay. Um, ha keeping like odd hours for a sleep schedule. That's what I'm getting with this. Okay. Now for some of you that could have been fear of performance in the bedroom. Okay. Or how you appear, right? Sun to others. That's what I'm getting. Okay. Now there are great fun things coming. Okay. And it's calling for you to just uh, be your natural you, right? this okay what is meant for you is meant for you and for some of you it's the error in your chart that could have caused the problem the battles of the mind okay all right now for some of you what is that That's the energy that was causing the problem. So you want to align that energy. Okay. And that was the causing you not to go forward. Okay. And I feel like if you had any kind of, um, like, not wanting to share energy, that's changing. Okay. Okay. But you still feel maybe on some level that you don't have the luck like other people do. Okay, so what I'm getting with this is someone that was following you. Well, let's see. Someone that was energetically with you, you feel like isn't with you anymore. They're busy doing something else. But that doesn't mean that they don't care about you. Okay, so it could be an air sign. Someone's in the dominant air, whoever that person is. It could be any sign, but that's the energy that they're in. Moving towards clarity, but you don't see them as being warm towards you. That's what I'm getting. Okay, 
and you feel you did feel a little bit left out in the cold or they forgot about you but they think of you as a soulmate and they haven't forgotten about you so that's mind stuff okay so that's why uh you kept expecting them to come towards you but they didn't then what so that could have affected your confidence a little bit. But here's a new beginning, just like the shorts I just did. <laughs> here's a new beginning. Okay, so it's like get rid of the old way of thinking, right, so that you don't fall into that pattern again because you have all this stuff that spirit is bringing in for you. And, um, and it's like just go with it. Okay. All the, look at all the opportunities. Okay. Yeah, so you feel like that they were uh, sneaking off. That's what I'm getting. Okay, could be an Aquarius. Or it could be someone in your tribe, right? Because look at all these stars. Okay. Now, starseed came up earlier, so uh, you could think of them as a star. Okay, so here's your new reality. Are you going to go for it? Okay, so now this is working on uh, your mastery, whatever it is. So do, it's like pay attention to the details of whatever you're creating and don't take shortcuts. That's what this is. In love, too. All right. Go the distance. Find the courage. Offer the loving cup, even though you feel like you can't. That's the message. And you will be pleasantly surprised that you will be victorious if you take action on it. Okay, now moon came out. The silver lining, I did that short, so you might want to go see that. All right, now, here's the magician. And I feel like that's you, Aries. Okay, you know what this is? It's like, I'm not waiting on them. I'm not waiting on them. I'm not waiting on them. And, and then still hoping that they would come towards you. Okay, so this is suggesting that you take a subtle action, not a forceful action, but a subtle action. And you could bring in uh, abundance in this connection. Now here's this air energy showing up again, and I feel like that's what you're doing too. Okay, but the one who you're thinking of has love to offer. But you go back and forth. Oh, that could be the Libra energy that you go into sometimes. It's like back and forth. It's like when a person picks a flower. He loves me. He loves me not. She loves me. She loves me not. It's kind of like that, but in your own words. And look. Boom. <laughs> but it's been here all along. All it takes is communication and movement in the physical. Okay. Earth. Okay. I leave you with that.